Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And I know this week, originally, what I wanted to do was go through the whole Tooth and Claw graphic novel, the trade paperback. Uh, but that, you know, has like another six stories in it. And I pumped out like seven episodes or eight episodes last week doing one a day. And uh, that was actually a lot of work to do. And a couple of those I had to actually reshoot because uh, I did them all in one day, like in one shirt. And then you'll notice that in a couple of the episodes I have different shirts on. And it's because I had to reshoot some things. And uh, so, yeah, it was a little bit more work than I can put in this week because this week my supervisors out of town and I'm kind of like in charge in a way um you know not really the boss or anything like that but I'm just like the senior supervisor that's around right now and I just have a lot of work to do <laughs> I had so much to do so this morning I have a couple hours before I have to go into work luckily I got you know my schedule uh worked out to where today at least in the morning time I had some free time and I thought you know what let's just dump you know jump into something really easy and talk about a couple of uh, Venom one shots that came out this week and then we have some trailer reactions coming up too so there's like a Venom Lego vexed for Venom movie that we talked about a while ago Apparently, I thought that was going to come out like on Netflix or something, but uh, it looks like they're releasing them on YouTube, like in parts, uh, you know, like two or three minute episodes. And I think there's going to be like maybe five or six episodes total and four of them are out now. So what I'll probably do is wait till like all six of them are out or all five of them, however many there are. And I'll just do a trailer reaction or trailer reaction. I'll do a video reaction and watch all of them and separate them into like five episodes and then during one week coming up you'll just see all of them you know released like one a day for like a whole week uh, so that way you guys can watch along so make sure you check out the marvel youtube channel uh, like their marvel cartoon youtube channel uh, because they have all the episodes that are you know going up there every week so uh, once they're all done i'll do reactions to those i was going to do them recently but then i saw that they broke them up into multiple parts so i was like all right i'll wait till it's all done so i can give those to you guys all at once and then as far as the trade paperback for tooth and claw we'll tackle that i have two weeks of uh, you know off work coming up. I'm going to be working a lot of things, writing my uh, reality show pitch and working on that some more. Um, actually, that should be done by then. So I might have some, you know, free up some time during those two weeks. But during that two weeks, I'm going to go through the Tooth and Claw graphic novel. Uh, we're going to, you know, catch up on any absolute carnage stuff that I, I you know, got behind on. And uh, then we'll also prep my new channel. Uh, you know, which I have going on. If you're a Batman fan, we're going to do something new on a new channel that I'm going to create. Uh, and we're going to move all the DC stuff over there. You know, so if you're wondering, hey, where's a lot of your DC content? It's going to just move over to this new channel. And this new channel is going to focus just on Batman. And it's actually going to focus on you guys. But I'll talk more about that later. I won't bog down a Venom episode for that. Uh, the one, you know, the issue we're going to talk about today is actually a Wolverine issue called Exit Wounds. This came out uh, maybe like three weeks ago, uh, maybe four weeks ago now. Uh, so it's almost a month old. And it's just like a one shot of for Wolverine. I got the Sam Keith cover. Or I had to. I mean, I love his art so much. Um, and so I was like, you know what? Let's uh, let's pick up this issue. I bought it digitally because it was only ninety nine cents. They put it on sale like a week and a half ago or two weeks ago on sale for ninety nine cents already. Sometimes Marvel and DC do that when they when a book is like out there and they don't see enough, I guess, reviews or people talking about it. They'll kind of throw out, uh, you know, in comiXology, they'll be like, hey, mark it down as a recent hit for 99 cents and try to get more people to read it. And I like that they do that because I'm just, with my limited funds, I can't keep up with a lot of books. And this one I wanted to get, but I when it came out, I was like, oh man, I just don't have, the, I don't have five bucks to spend on this because I'm already buying something else. So when I saw it for a dollar, I was like, all right, I can squeeze out a dollar, you know, from my PayPal account, no problem. So uh, I did, and I was like, all right, let's check out this book. And little did I know that it actually has a short story in the back uh, that has Venom in it. So I had no idea this was in the book. I saw that Sam Keith drew it. I, I saw one review, but the guy did not spoil in his review that Venom showed up. And I thought that was really awesome of him to not do that. Uh, so I'm sorry I'm spoiling it now, you know, for you guys. Uh, but, uh, you know, I have to talk about it on the show. And it's been out for a month now, whereas his review was like, you know, up the, the day after the book came out. Um, but speaking of this book, before we go any further, I will give out the digital code. So boom, right there. That's the digital code. Go to that website. First person to put that code in gets the comic book. It's only it's a one-time deal. So the first person who gets it gets the comic. So enjoy that. Let me know what you think if you want it. Let me know what your review is down in the comments below. Um, and if you've read this, let me know what your review is. So the first two stories, there's like a Sabretooth story, I think. And then there's like a Weapon X story. And uh, they, you know, get into... Actually, there's no Sabretooth story. Sabretooth was on the other cover. But uh, there's no real Sabretooth story in here. Uh, and then there's like one where just, you know, Wolverine's messing with some people. It's just bad people or whatever uh, that Salvador Larocco drew. And it, they're good stories. They're fine. I like them okay. But the Sam Keith one is what I really like. Because I love his artwork. And he kind of revisits the issue or the episode we did recently from uh, Marvel Comics Presents where he drew 
basically the first interaction between Venom and Wolverine and Venom or Wolverine was like sucked into a dream world by Xavier. He pushed him into a dream world so they could lure out Nightmare, this villain that fights Doctor Strange uh, sometimes. And they lured Nightmare out and then Nightmare in order to fight Wolverine uh, summoned Venom and brought Venom and Eddie Brock into the dreamscape world that they fought in. So this seems to be set or at least a nod to that. I don't really know purely where the continuity is on this one but i just thought it was a fun little story and a fun little throwback and it's so cool that sam keith still thinks about that story even to this day to where he would do like a little eight nine page storyline that uh, kind of references it so i thought that was really fun so it just starts out wolverine he's like in the jungle and he's talking about how he followed like some drug cartel people here and uh, down in the south american swamp and i'm like okay was that i don't remember that being the reason or where he thought he was because i knew he was purposely going into a dream world in that last one so again the continuity is a little loose here i think this is just sam keith going you know what i want to draw venom and i want to draw wolverine and i like that story i did all those years ago and i want to just touch on that a little bit for you know for this wolverine one shot and i'm glad he did because it's a lot of fun uh so yeah and he's got you know wolverine i love his artwork it's so crazy and abstract and weird sometimes um but you have venom like peeking out of a little tree here uh you know sneaking up on wolverine and then he does he jumps down and there's this great splash page where he's choking out Wolverine. He's like, all right, lunch is here. And the two of them go at it. And then that's when Wolverine is like, you know what? I'm not really a match for this guy. I can't stab him. It's not going to hurt him. Um, you know, fully, I have to get in through to the human inside, I guess. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm at a disadvantage here. And so, you know, Venom's like ripping off his mask and they're like getting into this big fight. And uh, and then, at, you know, finally Wolverine is like, all right, I'm, let's try this. And he's like, Brock, I know you're in there. You know, reach out to me. And Eddie's like, you know logan it's me it's eddie you know but it's a symbiote it's too strong i can't fight it alone i don't know what's going on it's taking control of me and he's like i know something that'll work and uh, you know and eddie's sitting here like whoa what is it man tell me like whatever it is you got to do it you got to do it like help me get back into control and then wolverine just goes pa -pa! and it's like an homage to that cover from marvel comics presents that sam keith did so it's basically him taking this one image from the the comic he drew uh like on the cover and it's him making like a little story out of it like a little self-contained story so again i don't know if this really deals with uh you know the the dream sequence or all that stuff i don't know if it's the exact same timeline but to me on one level it's like i guess it doesn't really matter because uh, at the end of the day it's probably just sam keith going i want to you know flex my venom and wolverine muscles and draw these characters again because uh, right now i think he's doing like a batman max crossover uh which i picked up the first issue and it was really good so i'm gonna wait for the trade i think it maybe even be out right now so i'll have to pick that up at some point uh but i love his stuff and so at the end after wolverine stabs venom uh you know he's just kind of contemplating what's going on and he says uh you know my mind is mush right now i don't know what's going on someone or something collapsed in a heap below me so it's him standing over venom and he's you know the kind of victorious and uh and he's you know he's like the brock symbiote passed out for now all i can do is gather my wits and brace myself for whatever comes next so again it could still maybe be in that uh dream sequence where he fought nightmare but uh, even if it's not, if it's just like a little fun thing, it was fun. It was cool to see Sam Keith revisit that story. Because like I said, I mean, I talked about it on the show um, and from the Marvel Comics Presents run, but it's not like a really well-known, you know, Wolverine or Venom story. Uh, and yet it features both of them in a really cool sequence in, in a dream world, uh, you know, with Xavier there and fighting a character like Nightmare, who's not even, you know, either one of their villains. Uh, so I always liked that. That's what I loved about Marvel Comics Presents is that it could tell stories like that. And it was neat that even after all the years when sam keith was offered to do something for a wolverine one shot he's like you know what i want to do wolverine versus venom uh so that's really fun i like that you know i got the variant cover like i said this is one of the variants that had sam keith's artwork and i was like i gotta get it i love his stuff still to this day and i just thought this was fun i don't know how many of you you know knew about this story i think i posted it like a couple weeks ago that venom was in here um, but, uh, you know, or like, I mean, yeah, maybe like two weeks ago when I bought the digital one, I think I was like, oh my God, Venom's actually in here. But I think some of you already told me that. And I, I might've just hit sometimes with social media, like someone will send me something and I'll just hit like, cause maybe I don't want spoilers. So I'll, I'll read like the first line. I'll go, oh, this could, you know, maybe this has a spoiler in it. So I just hit like, and I just move on or retweet and I move on. I don't look at it again. Uh, so if some of you told me about that, I apologize. Uh, it, it's not me like trying to be a jerk to ignore you. It's just me like trying to avoid spoilers. And I'm glad I did. Cause when I was reading this I, it was a nice surprise to me that to see venom in here because i was reading the first two short stories i'm like eh, they're all right they're cool but you know what, what's the third one going to be what's sam keith's story going to be and uh, i'm glad because they to me they saved the best for last uh, artwork wise and uh, story wise uh, even though it was like a very brief you know uh, non-deep story 
it was still kind of fun to revisit. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to call this episode Wolverine versus, uh, you know, Venom round two, I guess, or something like that. Uh, but uh, even though Nightmare is not in this one, but yeah, I just thought it was fun and I wanted to talk about it with you guys. So let me know what you think. Did you uh, pick up this yourself? If not, will you go get it now? I, I encourage you to do so. Whether you get on Comixology, if you can find a print copy, it's only about a month old as of the recording of this. It's August uh, 3rd right now of 2019. So if you're watching this video way, way later, you know, check out what trade paperback it's, uh, you know, included in or, uh, you know, pick up the digital copy on Comixology. So anyway, that's all for this episode. Uh, we have two more one shots coming up next. And then I have like a precursor to absolute carnage that we're going to do. So I'll get all these videos recorded and try to get them up to you guys as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.